So there I was, traveling to that great mecca of the world, Indiana, uh, for, for business. And I'm traveling along, and uh, I look over on the left-hand shoulder of the road, and I see them there. You know, they, they had fallen out of the car. They were helpless. They were all in a tangle. And I thought to myself, I need to rescue them. So I turned right around, got out, crossed two lanes of traffic, scooped them up in my arms, brought them back. It was, it was a daring rescue, but I'm proud to say that here they are. <coughs> Safe and sound. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right, all joking aside, um, I did find these on the side of the road, and uh, th there's a reason for this, like picking up trash. Obviously, we could try fixing these and upgrading our current supply of these this sort of thing, but uh, I don't think it's worth it. These are like 20 bucks for all of this, but what I do want is this, all right? So I have been wanting to build one of these for quite a while now. It is, in my mind, one of the cooler looking hammocky thingies you can do. And part of that is having, they use seatbelt straps for their, uh, for their nylon webbing in there. So I was thinking I could do this on the cheap. This is free. Um, when you're living cheaply and you don't have money, you got to get your supplies where you can, right? We have, in, in some ways, time is money and money is time. I'm willing to sacrifice my time um, in order to save money at this moment in my life. I'm young. What do, you, what do you expect? So, with that in mind, we need to go through this thing here and see if there are any good parts, bad parts, frayed edges. Because, you know, we don't want to be dumb about this. This is 3,300 pounds uh, rated load. We went on the internet and checked. It is from the tractor supply company. Now this one has seen a lot more aging, so we may or may not keep this one. This particular one may get used for something else, because, you know, we don't want to be dumb about this. We want to, uh, I mean, we're only using iffy straps to hold up weight that could potentially have my children in it. But at the very least, it's some good material. I mean, it seems like it's still fairly strong. I might be able to build a couple lifting straps out of this at the very least and this one is pretty close to to being functional we will need one of those uh, uh one of those little like ratcheting poles here but this could be salvaged and used to uh hold down other things other loads because right now i'm using these like little anemic one inch wide strips and i think we could do better and i think we could do better with this so here goes <laughs> the anatomy of this thing's kind of interesting. So these are two separate pieces, it looks like. <laughs> That's a quick way. Oh, okay. The tighter you wrap it, the more this tends to get collapsed by the rope wrapped around it. So it's like self-tensioning. So you put your, you put your uh, strap through here, and then as you rotate it around and start uh, putting some tension on the line, It'll start squeezing down as it wraps around and makes it even lock in a little harder. Cool. I think she's plasma cut. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, you can you can tell here on the corner. On this end, uh, it's much wider than on this end. So what it means is that as the plasma came down through here, it took a little bit of the energy of that wave, that thickness of plasma coming down. As it burned through, it got smaller and smaller and smaller until it reached the other side. So you tend to have a kerf angle when it's plasma cut. Laser tends to be a fairly straight line, much cleaner. Uh, plasma's cheaper and easier to get a hold of. Yeah, so I think this is pretty much hooped. We might keep, take this bolt apart and uh, keep this section. All right. 
know, that'll work a, that'll be a pretty decent little strap. In summation, what we got out of this was a future metalworking project where we can potentially fix this and make a ratcheting portion of this. Um, we got some nice, like I think this is like 33 yards of uh, ratchet strap, 2 inch wide, 3,300 pounds each load. This one, eh, it could be better in terms of quality, but I think it's just a different manufacturer than this one at the time. Uh, and we got this, uh, this could, I'm going to probably actually put this one right out in the car and, uh, use that for future ratcheting or future projects where I got to get it, put something on a trailer and strap it down. We probably got $40 worth of material here for free. Um, just by stopping on the side of the road, we cleaned up the side of the road. We kept less stuff from going in the landfill and, you know, some poor schmuck. Uh, getting hitting it when he pulls over the side of the road and doesn't see it, and <laughs> there goes his tire. So, doing the world a favor, one trash to treasure at a time.